I think the Rosie's. Our mom are online. Uh oh. Take care of your toe. I know, right? Hi. Okay, so here she is, Rosie Pope. Okay, so Hi, Rosie. Guys. Um, so our mom are trying okay. to win that umbrella stroller, and, yeah. and the way they're winning it is they're telling us something about you. Ooh, what's okay. going on in your world? So they have to go to your website and um, tell me something I about like it. you. Okay, so, yeah. so do I have to like pick something? No. Maybe there's something exciting. Well, you know, um, actually, I have someone who's going to randomly pick one of these winners. But um, just so you know, okay. you're going to your website and they're telling me something about you. So I like it. Yeah, isn't that cool? So um, tell us. Um, so. Mary, you can uh, randomly pick a winner, and we're going to talk to Rosie for just a second about what is going on in your world. I know I went to your website, and you have so much going on. Yeah. So why don't you tell us what's going on? Uh, well, we just opened our third store and studio in Tribeca in New York City. Um, the book by Mike Hugh, which is a complete guide to pregnancy, just came out, like we had a book before. Um, and now we're really working really hard on uh, growing the website the community, but also um, a less expensive maternity line to be able to reach a lot of people in the next year. So what do you think in your maternity line, you're all about fashion, like, yeah. what do you think is, we were just talking about this one, okay, I'm going to date myself, when I was pregnant, yeah. everybody was wearing, like, you know, rocks and things that didn't show your, your bum, right. but now it's all about showing off the bum. But what do you think is, like, what, what do you think is the right fashion? I think the right fashion is what you would normally wear. And I always tell people, you know, if they get pregnant and they, they start freaking out and they don't know what to wear anymore, what's really important is if you wouldn't wear it before you got pregnant, don't wear it now. Take you with your hair style and who you are, you'll be fine. You just need to find clothes that uh, fit you. So in the current store now, we're really fortunate to have a lot better fashion. Find the next store that's just your style and don't want to wear it. So if you wouldn't wear those before, Oh, thank God. All right. Yeah, what do people like that? Oh, no, I don't know. It's like, you know, in the moment, just lose it. I mean, I must wear a bow on my nose. I felt like when I was pregnant, I had to like go from my normal style to like suddenly looking all matronly and like right, Laura yeah. Ashley and such. Which made my husband very happy because he loved Laura Ashley, but I was like, oh dear, please, you know, it's not, not quite my style. I totally understand. So tell me about the store. Like, what, what, what would you So our stores, um, they sell our whole entire clothing line and also their studio as well. So we teach classes, uh, everything from basic EPR all the way through to health education. Uh, and if I can open to anybody, they range from about $35 all the way to about $150 for And um, for me, like, I sort of want our everyday take care. So when you come to my store, it's a very celebratory, mocktails and candy, and great music. It's a really, really fun environment. So uh, we're in LA, uh, I'm here in New York City, and hopefully five next year. Oh my gosh, so how do you do that? Like, you have a small child. I know. And you're running a clothing line, you're writing a book, like, you're doing TV. Like, like, how do you do it? Uh, it's, I mean, it's really hard, and I think uh, people are very successful dating because they're just having it all. And you got to define, hey, what, what all it is to you. But I think you can have a lot of things, but not in one day, over a period of time. So, you know, in one day, I can't be everything to everybody, but I can over a week. So, I can make sure I have a lot of time with kids and my husband and work. You gotta to schedule out over one day. Now, so what is your favorite downtime? Being with my kids, it really is. To be just, yeah, being at home in front of them and playing with them, it, it puts everything in place. Well, I want to turn to our uh, moms who are watching. Does anybody have a question that they love to ask Rosie? Please feel free to put it in the chat room, and um, and we'll. Ask her, and they're all excited now because somebody just won a stroller. But um, somebody loves your lip color. Thank you. Like, what's your lip color? So I, I have to smoke a lot for a living because I wear lipstick and always comes up. So this is a Benefit Lip Tint. Okay. It's gross. Okay, so someone wanted to know, were you scared of labor? They were very scared of labor. Um, you know, I think, uh, I don't think I was really scared. I think the more education you have about what's going to happen, it takes away from the anxiety because you're kind of aware of the choices and things that are going on around you. Um, and I just want to know that your body can really handle it, and if you're afraid of the pain, there are a lot of amazing things that you get to use with the epidural that do not harm the baby that are amazing and what you won't feel in at all. So really, no so one of our mom wants to know, um, what are your maternity fashion impressions? 
So, again, I think it's very unique in terms of everybody body is so different, but there are a few things to every day. Every day is an amazing pair of leggings. Leggings work 10 a day. You need a whole pack of tank tops, and then long tank tops, so they go over the entire belly. And then you need a couple dresses that I call dresses to dinner dresses. So they're really versatile, you can wear during the day and at night. Wrap dresses are great, mini dresses are great. Um, anything with a little embellishment that you can jazz up the evening. Okay, so some mom, I don't understand this one, but wants to know, does Rosie still be the speech coach her husband sent her to on Bravo? Um, Bravo? I haven't seen him for a while. I probably should. So, this whole speech thing, I really didn't know I had a speech issue in the show, but uh, I, mean, I see her every now and again, but it hasn't been for a while. But they kind of tell me something. No, I know. No, I don't think about it. I just feel um, So, what are the best shoes to wear during pregnancy? Where? That depends on you. If you want a heel, I like a wedge, more balanced. If you don't, I'm flat. Like really beautiful, elegant ballet flats are always a great option. Very dexterous, that's the cherry. Oh, I love it. Yeah. So many cool prints. Yeah. And, and you know what? I saw them on automation.com on sale yesterday. So, um, okay, and then some mom asked, um, to be a little bit more specific, like, well, like, do you keep a calendar with to balance everything yeah, you're doing? Yeah, I think that's too. Yeah, so I, I, I worry too much, but it's not written down, and I, I'm not clear about how many hours I'm going to have where. But yeah, I absolutely keep a calendar, um, and I absolutely schedule my day around touch points. So, really important for me to be with my kids in the morning for breakfast, get them ready for the day. Really important for me to be there at night for bath, dinner, book. But it does mean that I need to make up those work hours, so then I'll have to schedule a whole work after they're all asleep. But yeah, I, I really, I can't Okay, and, and talk about time, I don't wish we don't have a lot more time with you, but um, tell us a little bit, what can we find in your book? So, it's a wonderful guide to pregnancy, so it's really all the medical facts that you need to know, along with uh, a companion. And I wrote it with my doctor, who's a renowned OBGYN, so there's every question and answer. You, but also with a sort of, you know, a real mom sense about what's going on and what it's going to do. And I always find with doctors, you, know, you can really clam up in a doctor's appointment and not ask questions you really want to. So in, throughout this book, I ask the questions we all really want to know. Well, that's really great information. And moms can follow you on Twitter at Facebook, at Rose Facebook, Pinterest, yeah. um, Instagram. But on Instagram, it's our people. The Rosie Cove on Instagram is not me. There you go. You have to baby and it's not me. Yeah. Okay. So on Pinterest it's what? Rosie Cove. No, everywhere it's Rosie Cove, but it's really me. Except Instagram. Instagram. Okay. Instagram, that's not me. The rest of me is our people. Okay. okay yeah, well, we have a couple of moms that say they follow you. So. Thank you, guys. Okay. Well, thank you so much for stopping by Mom TV. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate you being here. Okay. And, and one lucky person won a score because they, they knew about you. Woo. Here you All go. Right. Well, thanks so much, Rosie. Bye.